Some people don't know what happens at the David Brower Center, what it is, and there are really three core programs. One is our resident organizations, so we have three floors of office space that are occupied by over 30 nonprofits doing primarily social and environmental activist work. We've got a conference center where we do benefits, film festivals, you name it. And then we have our exhibition program, which is really our key program for attracting new people to the building. The premise of One Cubic Foot is to examine closely what exists in a one cubic foot place in the real world. So we place this little green frame and then we start borrowing creatures from it. I believe that if people can really see these creatures that share their world, that there's a possibility of some connection. In 2011, uh, we held our 10th anniversary event at the Brower Center. Because it was our first fundraising event, to sort of really make a statement about, you know, we're ready to be this bigger, better organization, I think it helped to have it in the Brower Center because the Brower Center says that. <laughs> it says we're amazing, we're beautiful, we're large. <laughs> We've been around for 30 years, but we never really had a, a physical place where we could welcome the public and engage them. So the idea of the building really sort of walking the talk in that it's a lead platinum, high performance uh, green office building space uh, was something that was very important to us. We're being co-located with other organizations in the building where there's all kind of excited, interesting people. It's really helped us with networking. It's really just an amazing place to be and to work and to pursue our vision for a better planet. Dear Hood, you have destroyed the mindsets of our people. We are high. So recently when Youth Speaks was here, the place was just overrun and full of life with kids who were not only practicing their poetry, but looking at the artwork and talking about it and in the bathroom talking about the hand dryers and the rainwater in the toilets. So for me, when I see something like that, I know we're doing the right thing. This is a gathering space in an increasingly remote society. Whoever you are, if you share this set of values, this is a place for you.